special chapel. We have with us today the uh, members of a special needs group who are here to uh, share with you their love for God and for Jesus and their, their hope for a uh, walk with Him. And uh, we're, we're so glad to have them here today. And Mr. Capdine is one who has uh, graciously consented to put this all together. And I will turn it over to him right now. Good morning. Does everybody have their psalters? Or just a bunch of you? We're going to sing uh, number 27. Psalter number 27. And if I could get Eric to play that for us. What we'll do is we'll sing the first, third, and fifth. One, three, and five of 27.
Father in heaven, we come, thee, come before thee as a student body, as a body of Christ. And in this special day, thou hast given us a, an opportunity to witness the unique place that thou hast put in our midst of special needs children. They love thee with all their heart. We will see that in this morning hour as they do their do the things that they have practiced on. We will see the love that they have for their Lord and Savior come through with the singing, with the playing, and with the reading. We thank you for them. We thank you for the special education that we have in our schools. And we pray that thou wilt bless it. We pray now that thou wilt be with us during this chapel time. Pray that thou wilt, everything we do may be done in a way that pleases thee. May we as thy children show others by the way they talk and in the way that they walk. That they are children of thine in everything that they do. <coughs> we thank you that thou hast given us our Lord and Savior. We thank you for the salvation that we have through thy Son. And we pray now that thou wilt bless, it, bless this time. Keep us from sin and forgive them sins which we have committed. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Michael is going, Michael Van Dyke is going to read an opening song for us this morning. Michael Van Dyke is 27 years old and attends Faith Church. Michael's interests are watching the Red Wings and spending time with his family. In the past, you may have seen Michael working at the Griffins game or Whitecaps game, handing out programs. Michael always likes to talk a little baseball or hockey with the guys. Michael. will now sing, God will take care of you. She is, a, she is a member of Faith Church and is 34 years old. She likes to take walks, ride bikes. She has over 20 nieces and nephews. 
Her interests are doing crafts of any kind, camping, swimming, and downhill skiing with Special Olympics. Dee was honored with the 2013 Timothy Krause Bunbury Award this year at the Winter Olympics in Traverse City. This award is given to an alpine skier who has trained with enthusiasm, bravery, and a sense of humor and achieved excellence at her skill. Savior. And as a confessing member at Hope PRC, she is a helper in the preschool class and nursery and is called Miss Ann by the children. She is 40 years old. She enjoys reading very much and especially likes biography. She makes latch hook rugs and gives them away as gifts. She also makes cards daily for the names on the Hope PRC calendar. Her parents are thankful for the blessing she has been to them and their family and the lessons she has taught them in love and patience. Our Savior, written by Gamma Westra. Our Savior walked a lonesome road that led to Calvary's tree a lonesome and a weary road of pain and agony. He oftentimes grew weary while upon a Calvary road, his cross, a heavy burden, and alone he bore the load. His hands were pierced, his feet were pierced by those who wished him dead. And yet, Father, forgive them, is what the Savior said, was nailed between two common thieves. He hugged to one's cries. Today with me, the Savior said, Thou shalt be in paradise. Our Lord descended into hell. He suffered endless pain. We owe our life to Jesus. He removed our guilty stain. He suffered much upon the cross. It's finished. Then he cried. And though we are guilty, twas the, the guiltless who had died. Although he suffered in our stead, he now is thrown above. May we live of gratitude for his redeeming love. For the third day he arose again and sits 
at God's right hand, and we shall soon be with him in that promised glory land. Amy Kapkine is 27 years old and she attends Faith Protestant Reformed Church. Amy works Monday through Friday from 11 to 2 at Culver's in Jenison. She loves her job and loves it when friends and family come to eat while she is working. Amy is diagnosed with autism. Amy's evenings are very busy. She is involved with Special Olympics year-round. She participates in basketball, volleyball, and softball, soccer, bowling, and cross-country skiing. Amy just returned from South Korea after participating in the World Games. Although Amy loves Special Olympics, her favorite activities are centered on her church. She loves Bible study that is held at Faith Church. She wishes this was every week and year-round. After church, you will always find Amy holding a baby. She loves babies. Amy is truly a blessing to her family. member of Hope Protestant Reformed Church. She has cerebral palsy. It was her 40th birthday on March 31 last year. Chris works at Hope Network. She is responsible for receiving the daily attendance from job coaches, sending the attendance to the accounting department, and entering the daily payroll information for many of the special needs children that work either out in the community or in a sheltered work environment. Chris wrote about her life and struggles with cerebral palsy for the Fearfully and Wonderfully Made series in the Beacon Lights. She says that God is using this series and also special needs programs to remind them, all of us, not only of the many afflictions that we face, but also of the grace God gives to all his people to be happy in these afflictions. It has been a blessing for her to fellowship with other believers with special needs this past year. Covered with its 
Kara Kaptein is going to play a piano solo entitled Christ Alone. Kara was born in 1998 when she, when she was 18 months old she started school and went to the infant toddler program for speech and language. Kara is diagnosed with autism and has a cognitive impairment. Kara is 14 years old and in the eighth grade at Heritage Christian. Her family teases her that school is too fun. She enjoys being with Will Hankel and Travis. They all are the, they all are best of friends. Kara continues to take piano lessons from Tina Menry. Her parents think sometimes that she just wants to play with Tina's baby. But Tina assures me that they do play the piano too. Kara plays volleyball, basketball, and soccer for Special Olympics. The special needs Bible study has been such a blessing. Kara loves the singing. She thinks they should sing all night. Kara is a joy to her family, and they thank God for her every day. Kara is excited to be a student here at Covenant Christian High School next year. will be reading a poem, Beatitudes of Friendship. Ross lives at Georgetown Harmony Homes in Hudsonville. He keeps busy playing Special Olympics, basketball, bowling. He enjoys two different youth groups, one of which is held at Faith Church. He works part-time at Arby's and Family Fair and Can Do. He usually goes out for dinner on Saturday night with Uncle Jim and Grandpa Benoble. Ross loves to talk about Grandpa Van Overloop and Grandpa Brower by saying, I have the two best grandpas in the world. He also loves to hang out with his nieces and nephews. Ross has attended Hudsonville PRC all his life. He loves to go to church and see his church family there. His family is so thankful to God for Ross's place in their family. Blessed are you who take time to listen to a directive speech. You know that with patient with we can be understood. Blessed are you who walk with us in public places and ignore the stairs of strangers. You make us feel relaxed. Blessed are you who never tell us to hurry up or snatch our task out of our hands to do them faster. You know we don't always need help, just time. Blessed 
Blessed are you who stand beside us when we start something new. We love to surprise ourselves and you with that ability. Blessed are you who ask for our help for our greatest need is to be needed. Blessed are you who forget the condition of all my body and see the shape of my soul. Blessed are you, my friends. You are the joy of my life. Blessed are you who do all these things. You are sure the structure the peculiar in the unique that their God-given self is what makes them vertical. Travis Peterson is the youngest child of four in the Peterson family. Travis is in the sixth grade at Heritage Christian. He loves all his helpers who do a great job and his teachers. Travis likes to play sports himself. He plays soccer, baseball, swimming, and gymnastics. In the winter, he practices his sports on the, on the Nintendo Wii. In the summer, he swims all day and sometimes golfs with his family. Besides sports, he also loves playing with technology. He has great interest and enjoys watching the robotics team at here at Covenant Christian High. He loves being with his classmates, whether it's a party or catechism. It is such a blessing to have Travis be part of a Christian community. Will Hankel is cognitively impaired and autistic. He is the youngest of six children. He lives with his mom and dad and five brothers and one sister. They attend Grace at DRC. He loves to sing, ride his bike and scooter, and jump on the jump lead. He is in the fourth grade at Heritage, where he enjoys being part of the classroom as much as he can. This is a great blessing for Will, as well as for the staff and students at the school. Will has given us a wonderful opportunity for us all to experience what God has to say to us through his people that have disabilities and to learn to love the fellowship among God's people. Travis and Will will now accompany the group by playing the triangle and the sticks as the helpers, I think, are going to come up here. The helpers need to come up here. Just the, just the helpers. And you're going to help Josh and Joel sing Praise God from whom all blessings flow. And we're going to sing Psalter number 400, verses 1 and 7. So they're going to, the, the, the helpers are going to sing in the background. Travis is going to do the triangle, it looks like. And Will is going to do the sticks.
last number is going to be a group number. So while I'm talking about Travis Kamiga, if the helpers and the special needs children can just line up here, then we're going to sing two Psalter numbers. As we close out this program with our last songs, Travis Kamiga, who is 22 years old, has also joined us today. His two younger brothers are Jonathan and David, who attend Covenant. He attends Faith Church. Travis was born with Angel Men Syndrome. Travis is able to walk and get around on his own for the most part, but sometimes his balance isn't so great. Travis can get pretty excited when he is surrounded by people and tries with all his might to get everyone to pay attention to him. Travis functions at a, as a two to three year old level. He doesn't speak much, but is able to say a few very simple single syllable words such as mama and ball. Travis goes to Ottawa Area Center throughout the year. At school, they work on basic life skills and behavior skills. When they aren't working on these things, he swims, rides horses, and does all kinds of fun stuff to improve his balance and endurance. Travis loves to go to church and see everyone there. Travis is a very special part of the family, and they are humbled that God has seen fit to entrust him to them for a while. We give thanks to God for his faithfulness to Travis and to all of our special needs children and trust that he will continue to give each of them abundant grace day by day as they have need. They will now sing Psalter 221 verses 1 and 3 and Psalter 27, 1, 2, and 7. 221, 1 and 3 first. 